Lexi, and of course, flowers are a beautiful Valentine's edition, aren't they? Of course. Who doesn't love flowers? And I do. we're going to make some, I do too. We're going to make some cute little vases today that we're going to add to a bed and breakfast tray, right? Mm hmm. All right, well, let's get started, Selena. Okay, so first we're going to start with the mini roses. Right. And we'll add a bunch here. Okay, and we have these like really cute little vases here. Now these are just like bud vases, right? Because the little tiny opening. Yep, you can buy these at your local thrift store to repurpose. Mm -hmm. um, or we also sell Mariposa vases in the store. Okay, so we're starting with these roses because they're like the most, kind of the heftiest part, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it these. seems like we're doing like all the, the shades of pinks and the like a little bit of purple, right? To mm -hmm. add to this. Um, this is Plumosa. We're gonna add this just for a little texture. We'll put it in the middle there. Okay. And these will help hold things in place, the mini roses. Right, right. So then I'm gonna add some wax flower also. Those are really pretty. I love all the different textures because you do, you have these thicker ones, the tiny delicate ones. And we've got some dried baby's breath. Right. Now the baby's breath's pink. Obviously it doesn't come in pink, but you can um, No, we that. sprayed this with this floral spray paint, but you can use any spray paint. All right, baby's breath just adds so much. I always think it's just so airy and light, it's so delicate. It is beautiful, I mm -hmm. love it. The bud faces are nice because I feel like they're so dramatic, but yet you don't need to, to put like a ton of flowers in them. No, you just need a little, and um, you don't need a lot of skill either um, because it's a smaller arrangement. This is dried ruscus, we're gonna add this in too. I really like how um, you're incorporating the dried flowers with the fresh flowers. Yeah, it looks really beautiful. Lavender, we have dried lavender. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's lavender. Oh, it's gorgeous. And another, you know, yet another texture and another color, but keeping in the same shade. And, ooh, bunny tails we have. Well, these are darling. I love these. Now, were these sprayed all as well? These were also sprayed, yes. Right. And these seem like they're dried. They've been dried? Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is ranunculus. Oh, that's beautiful. These are really delicate. I love these flowers. Gorgeous. So now it's starting to look like something. Yeah. Let's see. There we go. That's a mix of dried and fresh. I like the fact that you added the, the foliage in there because that really, I don't know, there's something about it bringing everything together. Mm-hmm. And there you have it, a romantic bud vase for our breakfast in bed. Thank you so much, Selena. And now we're going to catch up with Tom and we're actually gonna put the beautiful tray together. Yeah, Thank awesome. You. Well, here it is. This is our breakfast in bed tray. Look at this. It looks fantastic, oh, doesn't it? it yeah. it really does. So why don't we, um, Kind of put the whole thing together visually uh, for us. Explain what you've done here. Okay, so I know we've talked through a little bit about how we've made this special drink mm -hmm. for that special day yep. and the floral arrangements we have here. And yes. in order to make this just a little bit extra special, you can decorate your tray when you bring it to your loved one. So you're not just bringing out a tray of a wonderful bouquet of flowers and wonderful drink. You've also got all of this other stuff going on just to make it that little bit prettier exactly. and a little bit more beautiful. Now, I kind of want to just point out, like, to, I mean, if you have a tray, obviously use whatever tray you have at home, but I really think this is beautiful and unique. Uh, now, this tray, maybe you could tell us a little bit about it. Thank you for noticing, first of all, Jackie. Yeah, this is our Beatrice Ball uh, range. Um, absolutely stunning range. Oh, it's a little beading that goes around and we love it, it's very popular. On top of this beautiful tray, we have this scarf, pashmina, mm -hmm. ribbon running through it. You can use really any textile yes. you like. I don't want to hear anyone using their wife's $500 <laughs> scarf and how it got ruined and covered in coffee. Definitely recommend using something that's maybe a little bit cheaper that you can afford to spill on, right. um, unless you have incredibly steady hands. Here at the front, we have some macarons, which are a little, little plate of macarons. And then we have just Nice espresso, nice coffee. You can bring any sort of coffee you like in addition to that beautiful drink. Yes. So that gives you your kick in the morning to wake you up and that's right? just something to, to enjoy. So this is our Olivia Regal range, this beautiful stemware. This is our uh, napkin ring and our jewelry box here. Um, oh, and it's gorgeous. just something that adds that little bit of glitter. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, so all of these things are available here. All of these Mattons. available here at Matson's Floral. And we have a little jewelry box here. If you're planning on making that day, just that little bit special, even more special and popping the question. Yes. Don't forget, obviously fellas, <laughs> get down on one knee, but you can maybe frame a ring in there as well. Isn't that so, lovely? 
Just some ideas that you can do. Beautiful. Um, Who would it want to wake up and have this for breakfast? I mean, it just brightens your day right up. What a great Valentine's morning. Absolutely. And if you want the finishing touch, you can bring out champagne, but if champagne is maybe a little bit too punchy for early in the morning, <laughs> we have this beautiful uh, rose sparkling tea, which we sell here at Man's Floral Cafe. It's a blend of oolong and white tea, very citrusy, very floral. Uh, and you can just enjoy it just like any other champagne. Tom, we thank you so much for having us here today to show us and to celebrate Valentine's Day and to show everyone how they can make it extra special for that person that they love in their lives. Thank really you very it. much, Thank Jackie. you so much. And uh, why don't you tell everybody a little bit more about Matterns and the cafe here? Okay, so uh, Matterns Floral Cafe is something that we've added in recently, added onto our traditional Matterns Floral business where we sell, we do wedding florals, we do everyday floral arrangements. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a retail boutique with stunning new range. We have Smeg, we have Olivia Regal with Simon Pierce, Mariposa, Next Candle. So we're really offering anything that's giftable. The Matterns Floral Cafe is just something else to make visiting Matterns that little bit more special. You can come here, enjoy a floral inspired coffee. All our coffee is sourced from Black and Brass over in Honesdale and they really do make absolutely exquisite roasted beans. You know, why don't you kind of tell everybody what sort of drinks that you offer because you have everything under the sun that's coffee or tea related. Yeah, <laughs> you're absolutely right. There isn't anything that we haven't covered. I think um, if we can put floral into a drink, we probably managed to do it by now. We have rose lattes, both iced and hot, violet lattes, violet mocha lattes, your traditional coffees, a traditional um, espresso based drink. And we have very extensive tea range. All our tea is uh, imported from the UK, from the same grocer that supplies the queen. Nice. So, you know, when you come here, you're drinking the same tea as the queen. Um, I like that. Well, you certainly <laughs> feel special when you walk in here. I mean, it's absolutely lovely. and. You cannot help but smile and be happy when you're in this space. Brilliant. Well, that's what we wanted. <laughs> so we found 447 Market Street uh, in Kingston, PA. We're on a Matins Floral Cafe or Matins Floral on Instagram and on Facebook. And um, yeah, really encourage anyone to come and drop by, come and enjoy a coffee and peruse the the beautiful uh, landscape we have here of, of retail and coffee drinks, and it's a very happy place. Excellent. Well, thanks again, and I think we're going to maybe have a little bit of a toast to a Valentine's bit of a toast. Day, right? Well, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks again, Tom. Thank you very much, Jackie.